Well, at long last, we finally get to meet our star blogger, Georgie Twig. It's February, it's cold, and I believe this is the first time the GB girls have got together again since that wonderful day in the summer. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice to be back here, back training as a squad. You know, there's lots of fresh new faces, which is which is great to see, and you know, great for the next four-year development. Um, but yeah, it's just so nice to be back, back playing, back playing with the girls, and obviously we've got such happy memories from the summer. So yeah, it's bringing bringing it all back. Let's just very quickly relive those those happy memories. <laughs> a bronze medal at the Olympics, not any Olympics but the London Olympics in that wonderful stadium, full house, 16,000 people, happy days. Oh, I mean, you know, you just bring a smile to my face thinking about it. You know, it's dreams going to the Olympics, but being in the Olympics at your home ground, you know, we managed to get tickets for all our friends and family to come and watch, which was fantastic considering the support that they've given us to get us to where, to where we were. Um, and yeah, you know, to come away with a medal and obviously we would have loved to have you know, to have been a gold medal, but just to come away with that bronze medal in the end was just fantastic. And not just for us, but for the sport as a whole. I mean, hockey is doing fantastically. You know, we're really trying to get into the, the quick sticks, the, the young age, and then the rush hockey, you know, um, making more people play at all different ages. So I think it's been fantastic for the sport. And that you played on a psychedelic pitch. Do you remember, <laughs> do you remember that? Inside the Olympic Park? Yes. No, the atmosphere in the Olympic Park was incredible absolutely incredible and obviously I love the colour of the pitch it was had a pink rim <laughs> um, so yeah no it was a fantastic atmosphere and for hockey to be sold out for every single game was just fantastic now the key is to make the most of it isn't it to capitalize mm. you are in the spotlight like you haven't been for a long long time uh, one or two of your, your you know some of your big names your experienced girls have have, uh, have caught it a day hung up their hockey stick but there's a lot of you, I was going to say, you old ones left. I mean, goodness me, what are you, 22 or something? 22. Um, so um, it's, it's, you've got to take this opportunity, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, obviously the, the players that have retired, you will be missed because they were key players in our team. But, you know, the next few years is what it's all about. You've got to bring in the younger talent. And a lot of the girls are girls that I played with at younger age groups. So it's nice to see them, you know, improving and developing. And I think it's an exciting time for, for our team and bringing in new players. So, uh, yeah, no, looking forward to it. <laughs> And also, um, you know, a bronze was fantastic, but she could always do better. Exactly. And, I think and Rio's early, what, three years away and counting. <laughs> I think it's made us, you know, even more hungry for that gold medal. I mean, you know, we were striving for that, for that medal. And uh, I think now we know, you know, what it takes and how we're just going to have to push ourselves even harder. And it starts now. That's, you know, this training session is where we've got to set our standards if, that, if we want to get that gold medal in three and a bit years' time. And, of course, there's lots to do in between as well. Just, mm. just fill us in with all the other hopeful commitments you've got as a hockey player and um, well obviously it's as in so i play for my club serviton hockey club um, so you know we have that at the weekends and hopefully top four get to the playoffs and the, the top place goes through to the euro hockey league um, and then in the meantime with with gb in england we've got obviously the the announcement today of the world league tournament going to be held in london which is you know brilliant for for england to host that tournament um, and to kind of build on the, the excitement and the buzz around hockey you know we can get more and more people coming to watch it's just fantastic it's just generating more and more support for the game and there's plenty more tournaments to come you know the world cup the commonwealth the europeans there's plenty more to come between now and rio well you mentioned the commonwealth of course i mean you'll be competing for england as opposed to as a britain but it, uh, and it's in scotland but it's it's almost almost a home uh, tournament for you and, and you know judging by what happened in london I would imagine it's going to be fantastic in, in Glasgow as well. Yeah, I think, you know, we're all really looking forward to it. I mean, it might be weather like this, but, <laughs> um, yeah, it's so nice that probably most of our yeah, family and friends can come up and watch, and it, it kind of will have, you know, a bit of a home sort of home feel about it, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of rivalry between England and Scotland, but, you know, there always is, so... <laughs> You've got a lot of Scots girls in the, in the GB squad. Yeah, we've got a couple, about four or five coming right. through, so... Um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a bit of a <laughs> into into team rivalry. Now you've uh, you've left uni and you're at law school. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and you're juggling the hockey with with your law career as well. Yeah. So we're, we're with a budding, <laughs> uh, very wealthy uh, future <laughs> <yeah>. solicitor. <laughs> um, yeah. So I finished that at the end of May. Um, so it's been a good opportunity to kind of get that all done this year while we've had a bit of downtime from hockey um, and while there's a bit of a transitional period between sort of breaking into the full-time training 
Um, so hopefully once I finish that, I'm then going to um, start training full time. Um, and thankfully the firm Bird and Bird, who are sponsoring me um, and offering me a job, um, have deferred my start date until September 2016, which is amazing because it means I can do both things that I love. So that's perfect. So, so we won't tell them that you've already got eyes on the 2020 Olympics. So we'll keep that. <laughs> we'll keep that to ourselves. Yeah. That bridge. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, uh, well, welcome back to hockey, uh, GB style. So it's a bit cold, um, and uh, the journey starts again, hey? Yes, no, it sure does. Can't wait. All right, fantastic. And keep on blogging. Will do, definitely.